I am because we are Ubuntu. Good evening. My name is Denise Keys Page, and I have the fabulous pleasure of working with the story artist that you'll hear tonight. I am the founder and producer of Ubuntu Storytellers Ideal. What exactly is Ubuntu Storytellers Idea? Well, Ubuntu comes from one of the South African languages, and it means, I am because we are. Our mission is to tell stories of black and brown people, the real, live, current, personal narratives of people of the African diaspora. Stories not only of our heroism and sheroism and victimization, surely those are important stories to be told, but stories also of the spaces and places lived in between. We tell the arc of lives lived in our skins. We ask if you only know us by our tropes, our folk tales, our courageous and visionary historic leaders, do you really know us at all? These brave story artists come to you vulnerable, sharing pages from their lives. They share boldly, eloquently, authentically, so that we may build bridges of understanding. The ideal part of our name is inclusion, diversity, equity, and anti-racism leadership. We not only tell our stories, but we lead workshops on dismantling racism, one individual or organization at a time. We tell our stories to help us move through that resistance we sometimes have to the truth, to pain. We ask that you sit back and listen with open hearts as our artists share with you and inspire. We hope that as your heart feels, it will move to the head of knowing, to hands of doing, and together we can dismantle systemic racism. Tonight's show is what love is. And as we share these ways of being tonight, I invite you to listen, to challenge yourself, to feel the love that our artists tonight are sharing. My dad and I are sitting at the kitchen table and we're in the middle of what feels like a marathon argument about my love life. My dad keeps repeating to me, Jez, just finish the bachelor's degree. Afterwards, you have all the time in the world to fall in love. From where I'm sitting, I am standing at the, at the circulation desk in the public library in my small Connecticut town. My dad is standing behind me, and his strong hands are resting on my shoulders, squeezing just slightly with reassurance. My dad is tall. He is ebony black and handsome. I am pimply and awkward at 14. It's 1985. So it's 1973. I'm 12 years old and I'm about mm, 90 pounds soaking wet. And at this time in my life, I am known as Chucky Grady. And I had a very Michael Jackson-esque afro at the time, which was my claim to fame. It was during that time my father was a public servant in New Haven, serving as a police detective, and he had made enough money to move us out of the housing projects in Brookside in New Haven, and we were able to move into our very own house. It was a beautiful beach day, a July beach day, July 2016, and I'm leaning on the walker, just coming back, recovering from my most recent surgery. I'm leaning on the walker on pavement just above the beach below. I look out at the beach and I see about a dozen people, children mostly, they're building sand castles and swooshing in the water. They're really enjoying this stretch of Woodmont Beach. <laughs> I close my eyes. 
I inhaled deeply and I breathed in the salt water smell of my childhood. I exhaled slowly and I did not cry. Encouraged by this victory, I turned my walker to face the ginormous houses behind me. When I was a kid, Aunt Maud was this elderly lady who lived down the street from me. She wasn't related to me or any of the other kids in the neighborhood. We just called her Aunt Maud. She was about 5'2", a uh, little on the plump side. She wore a comfortable but slightly worn powder blue bathrobe with these fluffy red slippers. And she always had her hair up in these big pink foam rollers. Those were real popular back then. And whenever we played football, or baseball, any game out in front of her house uh, and got too loud, she would come out on the porch and you'd hear, boys, boys, why don't you guys go on somewhere else with all that nonsense? Go on, not making all that noise. Go on, get on out of here before you, you break something. Go. Okay, Aunt Maud. Now, Aunt Maud. I am because we are Ubuntu. We are part of everything, and everything is a part of us. We are human only through the humanity of others. I am because we are.